I think with anything, once you get a little bit of it, you just want more. So I remember real early on, I wanted to be a footballer. I wanted to play uh, in, in the top leagues. Growing up playing football, I, I was fulfilling that. So I started doing jujitsu, very quickly went through like the, the grading ranks got up to the highest kind of grading possible for my aid. Ended up with probably over a hundred trophies. I decided that, you know, I was gonna be the best at everything. And then I felt like I'd just reached a peak that I couldn't, I couldn't go any further. So I decided that I was gonna be the best at doing bad things. One day in particular, I went down to the local park. These guys that I'd never really seen before came down and this guy was bragging about this little pouch that he had. I decided to take them. I took it and I ran around to where uh, these other guys were. So this guy goes, yeah, yeah, give it here, give it here. Then I seen him, he put it into this bottle um, with a hose coming out of it and then began to light it up. And then he passed it to me. And I didn't know what to do. So I took it and I sucked it up. And that was it. My next experience with, with drugs was just straight up putting a needle in my arm. So that very first night that I shot up speed, we ended up going and stealing cars and getting in a big police chase. We ditched the car and ran. I was you know, shooting up speed and ice for, for 10 years. And because I'd gotten away with a lot and felt the freedom of it and felt the, um, like I was just in control and no one could say a thing. So I just kept going. I just wanted to, to go further and do more, or I just felt like there wasn't a way out. Um, so I guess I knew, uh, like everything that I did just, just spiraled me down further, caused a lot of pain and hurt. There's one, one particular time when I, I scored, I scored some ice and, and so I called this dude around and um, he was going to buy some off me. And I remember as he came around, um, I went to pass him the bag. He was passing me something back and it was the CD. Well, that night I was very high and I decided to to listen to this CD. So because I was making rap music and I liked rap music, straight away I could tell that this guy was pretty good. It was just way different though. It was way different to anything I'd ever heard before. This dude kind of, he was talking about um, the things that he felt he was a slave to. But the biggest thing that got me was he started saying that he was no longer that person and that those things that he was a slave to um, he'd found hope he'd found a change and the more that I listened to it um, I wanted to know what that was he was also talking about um, the character of, of God and I didn't know what to think of that but I just kept listening I became a whole new person. I became a totally new person. And I've never lived the same since that day because of that message I heard. I used to wake up every morning thinking about how I was gonna get money or acquire drugs 
score, get on, get high, and do it again. And now I wake up and I have peace, I have joy, and I get up and I go to work. Um, as a youth worker, I'm teaching young people how to write music, make music, record music. I mean, currently I, I serve in the youth detention centre, so in prisons. I've seen people give their life to Jesus. I deeply care about the people I work with. And um, for me, it's not just a job. It's, a, it's something where I walk alongside these people helping others find release from that lifestyle.